Oh, oh, sorry about that. Oh, didn't see you there, guys. Must have dozed off. <laughs> yeah, you got to love a wacky intro. Anyhow, enough of the carry on. Now, this is my second video of today. You know, I previously just done um, E. San Leon's Opium, which I still have in my hand here. Gorgeous scent. Absolutely love it. So, my second video of 2013, my first two videos, will be Victor North's Antidote. I got this for Christmas, and um, the Christmas gifts I got was Enkrin Wild, this and Isenyaki, and this was just, oh, I love this from... Uh, I know it gets a lot of talk, but when I finally held it and I sniffed it, I can understand why it had all the hype about it. Uh, and this came out in 2006, and uh, I believed I couldn't get my, I believed I'd never get my hands on this, but the Ednams are selling it, believe it or not, online. Um, pardon me. You couldn't get it in store, but you could get it on the, the website. There's a few things like that the Ednams always sell on the website. This is one of them. Um, so my parents got me this for Christmas. Um, I specifically told them, look, I gave it for Christmas, gave my parents a big list. And to keep it a surprise, what they done was they made me put like 10 or 15 figures down that I liked on a big list. And also, I'm not going to get them all because that would come to like a grand, more than a grand actually, probably. But um, so basically, I put a big list of figures that I love, I would love, and they would pick from that list. So it's still a surprise, and I'm still getting what I want, so I'm still going to enjoy what I get. So it was there. Uh, but I did tell them, look, if you can't get anything else, please specifically try and get this one. So they did, and I was real chuffed with it. I fell in love with this at first sniff, so I was really, really pleased to. Yes, and I believe Victor and Rolf only do two main scents, this and Space Bomb. I personally prefer this to Space Bomb. Uh, this is discontinued, I believe, so like I just said. Um, really, really nice bottle. If you look at your antidote, Victor and Rolf, in the front there. Um, you have your information on the bottom. You have the V and R logo there. It's like melted candle wax on the bottle. Really, really nice. Just basic, but really well done. So yeah, not a lot to say about the bottle, but there's not a lot you need to say. It's just a really nice bottle. Let's talk about the scent. Now the sprayer is not um, a really heavy sprayer if you look here. It's not the heaviest of sprayers, it's a bit of a sprayer. But this fragrance isn't a sort of maybe in your face fragrance. It's um, the, the smaller sprayer works, works with the scent. So I just get this obsession with having the V and R logo perfectly in line. <laughs> it's just me. But yeah, there, but there we go. I mean, already. I'm already getting this really nice. Did I say soapy vibe? It's kind of like a wee bit like Moogla Cologne, maybe. It's a tough one to describe, but I really like this. I mean, the story behind this one is when I first sprayed it, it reminds me of a perfume a girl I used to have a crush on used to wear. And the minute I sniffed this, that's the first thing I thought of. The minute I sniffed this, that's what I got. There's this perfume. It's really. <coughs> maybe she wore Flower Bomb. I don't know if anyone can tell me if it smells similar. Just a wee bit, but it was really nice. And this instantly reminded me of it. And then. Um, I say projection is not heavy. My sister could smell. I put one spray on my arm, my inner arm here, and my sister was sitting across the living room, and she's the sort of person that would know about celebrity scents and uh, yop. You know, she thinks she yop's the greatest scent ever. So she was like, "Oh, this is bouff, and I hate that." Blah blah blah. Bad taste, you know. Doesn't run the family, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's that's, it's really fresh. This is really crisp. This scent. It's really crisp and clean. It smells very professional, you know. Like, like, can I be honest? You see, when you buy a Mercedes, I wouldn't be surprised if when you bought a Mercedes, they sprayed this inside. That this is like, this is like new car smell, you know. That's <laughs> what so this is like. This is just so nice. This is like, I mean, you could also pay, you could pay two hundred pound for this, you'd be getting your money's worth. It's just so nice. But like, whenever you buy a Mercedes or a Ferrari or a BMW, it's probably this that they spray inside it. I wouldn't be surprised because that's how nice it smells. It smells crisp, clean. Professional, you pressed white shirt, you know, Italian, you know, tailor fitted suit. That's what this reminds me. Just really, really sharp and clean, and it's really good that way. And uh, about performance, longevity is really, really good. I easily get 10 to 12 hours, sometimes more on this. I can wake up and still smell it, and when I wake up next morning, I can still smell it on me. So, really, really good projection. Projection is weird. I just sprayed my arm on Christmas morning when I got this, and my sister, who was opening her presents across on the couch, and could smell this. And then we've got two couches, she was at the, the, the living room. And she sm sniffed this, and she was like, hmm. So, uh, and uh, she sniffed that with just one spray, and I wore 10 sprays this to the, uh, the cafe, and I wore 10 sprays, you know, two to the chest, two to the lower neck, two to the back of the neck, one at the, one in the top of my head, one in the back of my head, and one in each wrist. So, uh, and uh, my mother was like, I can't smell it. And I had to lean right close, and she's like, oh, I can smell it now, which is weird. So, 
maybe it was just um, my skin, but that particular day. I'm on the cafe, so again, there's coffee smells and there's food being made. So again, it's not, she probably couldn't smell because of that. And uh, her nose isn't great, she can't pick up a lot of smells as well. But um, I mean, I'm not sure, but I mean, she could sniff it on Christmas Day and that as well, so uh, it was weird. But um, personally, I think this is pretty damn good as, as far as what I've heard projection wise. This and I can, I can, longevity is guaranteed, sure, I can sniff it. Projection wise, I can still sniff it. It's weird. I can sniff it there. Like, here's a weird thing about this. I sweared it my wrist one time because so I really just wanted to sniff it again. And I, I would go like that. And I could sniff it quite strong. And I was like, hmm. And an hour later, I would sniff it and it seemed almost weak. I was like, what? But I would just be leaning with my hand here, miles away from my nose, and I would get this really strong whiff of antidote. antidote and I was like, damn. Put my nose to it. I can, it smells really weak. But if I just sit and relax and you know, lean my uh, hand on my desk here, I was getting a strong whiff of it. It was really weird. But I like that because it makes me more intrigued by it. So let's talk about where to wear this. I think it's absolutely top notch for a date. Yeah, for a date this is amazing. Casual wear, amazing. And for work, I think this is perfect for work. If the projection rumours, like I said, I mean if you went easy on the spray, I would say two to three sprays, three sprays tops. This is perfect for work. It lasts long, longevity is fantastic. And um, you know, it projects, as far as I've experienced, I can see there's the strong projection. I can't really give it the best note, but I'm going to say out of the 12 hours this lasts, it gives a good 3 hours of fairly strong projection. It starts to die down. Starts to die down. It doesn't become a skin scent like that. It starts to die down. But you won't notice, like I said, I, put, I sniffed it in my wrist. It smelled weak, but I rested my hand over here. I get a really strong whiff of it. So, in my opinion, on my skin, guys, I think projection is pretty good on this. It might be different than other people, but on me, I think projection is pretty good. Longevity is excellent, but for work, really good, really clean, perfect when you're white shirt, you know, black black jacket, white shirt, not green blazer and Miami pink shirt, you know, not Miami Vice like this, you know, not this Italian stuff, <laughs> this is just too, hey, drug deal, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but <laughs> you can wait with this, I'm, I'm just messing, but I should really just have a really crisp, clean, professional feel, you know, like a, the inside of a Mercedes smells like this, you know, G Gatsby shirts smell like this. <laughs> or platinum ego east but um, yeah and for a date this is good there's lots of good in spirit it's a very fresh like like opium I've got here it's a very welcoming scent as well it's it's fresh and welcoming you feel good when a lot of people feel good it's not offensive I mean it's very very I would say versatile is pretty damn versatile personally it's not um, it's not going to get you noticed as much as say opium but um I will get you noticed, it is unique. I mean, it is there's certainly, a, I've been looking for a scent like this for ages. The two scents that I've bought in the past month that have actually made me really realise what I've been missing out on is this and Cacherelle Pour Dome. This and Cacherelle have their own, they take a similar vibe to our scents, but they add as much uniqueness to it, pardon me, to warrant it being worth. <sighs> They add as much, they take sort of similar vibe as to some other scents, but they add enough uniqueness to it to make it intriguing, to make you want it, to explore it a bit more. And that's what this does and Cacherelle does. They both, I mean, when I sniffed Cacherelle, I was like, it smells like France, it was florally, it was classic, it smells like, even though it came out in 1981, it smells like a 50s, 60s scent, classic French, really, really nice, really well done. And that's the same with this. It has that sort of fresh, almost, almost soapy, I'm not sure, but... I still really want to get my get remind me of the perfume that this smells similar to is. If anyone can tell me by the way, I'm asking a big favour. Anyone watch this? If you if you sniff this and you think of any women's perfumes that smell similar to this, please do tell me because I will honestly buy it for myself just to wear it because it smells so good. Uh, I mean, I spray this on my wrist often. I spray it on the, the, my lower neck often to get whiffs of it when I'm working and do my music and stuff as well. I just feel really, really pleasant. So yeah, I think this is perfect casual wear, date, work, really, really good scent, excellent scent, I think it's superior to Spice Bomb, in my opinion, if I could only have one of them, it would be this. Everyone will wear Spice Bomb, not, as, not everyone will wear this, because again, it's discontinued, so the rarity alone will add, add the reason why I want this so much. So yeah, guys, add Victor Morph's Antidote, fantastic fragrance, absolutely adore it, deserves, like, it deserves all the good words of people, everything that good about it that's said. It's not one of these overhyped fragrances. I think it deserves all the hype. I think it's fantastic. Really, really good scent. It was probably the best gift I got all Christmas. I'm not sure which one I prefer this or Encre Noir, but um, it's a tough choice. But they're both fantastic. Really good scent. So if you can get your hands on it, I do recommend picking it up because it is hard to find. A lot of people were like, "Oh, how did you get that? How did you get your hands on that? Oh, was that antidote? Where did you get that from?" Blah blah blah. 
So yeah, um, anyone from the UK, even the US, I'm not sure how you'll be able to do it, but if you're, if you're, goddamn screen. Um, anyone from the UK, if you want to get your hands on it, uh, Debenhams do stock the 75 mils on their website. They used to have the 125 mils, but it's gone. They only have the 75 mils remaining. It's not cheap. This will run you about, I think this one is 67 pounds. I think it's 67 or 57, I can't remember. It's not cheap. Uh, Victor North isn't cheap though, mind you, you know, I mean, look at the price of Spice Ball. It's about 48, 47 pounds. So I think this one's a wee bit dear, because again, it's 75 mil. Uh, when I said 47 pounds, that was for the 50 mils of Spice Ball, and this one's a wee bit dearer. So, but it is dear, but it is worth it. So do, if you can get it, do pick it up. Really, really good scent. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found it helpful. Um, I know uh, a lot of people talk, ask me about this one as well, and um, a few of my friends. So um, yeah, any questions you have about this anything I haven't covered at all, anything more you want to know, please leave your feedback in the comments below or send me a, a private message, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And um, There's a link to my blog in the description, there's also a link to the song I used in the intro. Um, uh, all my videos on the playlist as well, so easy to find, click playlist and click readings of the likes there. So all the videos make it there in order of date, from the first video to the latest one. So yeah, I hope you find that helpful. Um, if you like my videos and want to see more, remember to click the like button and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you everyone. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I uh, hope you found it helpful. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, and have a nice day.